pickleball? Hold on. Dave, how are you doing? You're never playing pickleball with me ever again. How come? Yes, I played for four years and I still make the most common mistakes of three, five players. I deserve it. I'm sorry for those texts last night. I didn't mean it. Do you know you're making the same mistake over and over again? People don't wanna play with you anymore because of this, and I'm the only one that really cares about you. Joey, you wanna say anything else? Pickleball lovers are three most common mistakes of three, five players, and how to fix it. Don't forget to have a good day. The third most common mistakes of three, five players is this. They stand right on that baseline when they return and serves, right? They don't get ahead of steam when they go into the kitchen. If you start a little farther back at the fence and walk up when they start to hit the ball, you get ahead of steam, you'll hit through it and naturally get to the kitchen better, hit a deeper ball and feel better about yourself. I know, that's what I'm saying. We're at my home courts and here's my point. When you're returning, I like to stand at the fence. When they're ready to hit, I slowly walk up, right? And then I go directly to the kitchen. One other point, we want to hit forehand, right? So why would we line up here or here? Because I'm going to get it to our backhand. How about we stand here, come in, hit that forehand, and get in the court? Pretty good idea. The second most common mistakes of three, five players is this. On that third shot, forehand middle should most likely take it. Like they should take 75% of the court. It's not broken in a 50-50 halves. And I think backhand middle should let forehand middle take that third shot drop most of the time. The court is not 50-50. Forehand middle on the third shot should be dropping here. They should be dropping here. They even should be dropping here. IMO, if you're texting, my point is dropping third shot backhand right here is a lower percentage shot than dropping forehand. The main mistake I see with three, five players is how they approach the kitchen. They're running because they don't trust their resets. Good players are just gonna hit at your feet, probably the inner foot anyway, right? So we have to work on those resets. It's okay to shake and bake and surprise your opponents, but most of the time, we should really be walking towards the kitchen, ready for those balls at our feet so we're never off balance, right? As a coach, I see my students do this and it gets me so mad. They hit a good drop, they don't have confidence in their resets, and they wobble, balls hit at that foot, they pop it up, right? What should they do? Third shot, if I hit it at that feet, but look at me move. I know good opponents are gonna hit at my feet, I'm ready to reset, and I can be deliberate, get into the kitchen. One other thing, if you get a short ball that's high, we don't have to really approach a kitchen slow. We can shake and bake, have our partner pinch middle. But for the most part, we wanna be more deliberate with our movements, drop, and be ready, right? Not wobble like a penguin. Pickleball lovers, what are some other things that really annoy you about lower level people, people trying to learn the game, and how can they get better? Please leave your comments, please subscribe, save 10% on any paddle, wish me a happy birthday, and don't forget to have a good day. Save 10% on any paddle, see description for codes, it is my birthday after all, you know.